Oh, we're recording. <laughs> we are back to work tonight, upstairs, um, installing our speakers. Tonight, our goal is to get the one individual speaker installed in one of the guest bathroom and then the three speakers in the upstairs masters. And so that is our goal tonight. So we are going to try and get that all done. Pretty ambitious, but I think we can do it. My name is Caden and I'm a computer engineer by trade working full time as a software developer. I've always enjoyed doing DIY projects and after my channel started to get popular over my whole home audio projects, I decided to make this episode series. So come along this journey as I show you from start to finish how I'm installing whole home audio into my existing two-story house. So here's our stereo dual voice coil speaker. You can see here it's got, you know, two voice coils and we've got the terminals, two terminals on the back. So we're going to pull Two, uh, we still have to pull two speaker cables here because this one speaker uh, represents both the left and the right. So we're still gonna have to pull two, two cables here. Um, I've already got my little circle drawn right up there. So that's where we're gonna cut it. And I'm attempting to use this plastic to try to not make so much of a mess. So we'll see, but let's get to cutting. It's already 8.30, I'm getting a little tired already before even starting, so. We're gonna try to get some more work done. For the most part, this plastic stuff worked. I mean, it's pretty cheap, so I'd recommend you doing it. I didn't make too big of a mess, but of course, I'm a mess. But we've got the hole cut. Still have to run the cable to it, but I had already previously been up in the attic to make sure that if we were clear and I had moved some of the insulation. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend using plastic. <laughs> okay, so Kaden just went up to the attic um, to drop down the yellow rod. I am going to attach um, the two speaker wire uh, cables for them, and then he's going to take it back up and then run it to that um, single speaker in the boys' bathroom. I hope he's okay. Pretty sure the only reason he can. It didn't fall off again, did it? Babe, what are you doing? This is the second time the speaker cable has fallen off of our thing. I guess he has to drill another hole because there's too many wires in this other hole and it doesn't fit. So, I'm gonna be here, chill it out. Tip 500, cover the entire tip, I guess, of the speaker wire before sending it out or your husband will be mad. My wife and I talked about it a little bit. We talked about how we decided to do these speakers in the bedroom because this room has also got the uh, little master uh, inside bathroom. So what we decided is that we are going to offset these a little bit. We're gonna put the first speaker here and the second speaker over here. And let me flip the camera around. So these speakers will be kind of offset um, back a little bit. So kind of like imagine if you were laying in bed and you want to listen to music so the speakers will be uh, right here so I'm gonna move the insulation um, out of the way but that's where they're gonna be so kind of here and there as opposed to the other option that we were considering was having them be in line with the fan so that means you'd have one like right here and over there but I think this will look a little bit better in my opinion and plus, we're gonna have that third speaker be, I want it in line with the light and kind of in line with the fan. So I'm thinking like 
like right there and that'll be kind of like halfway over the shower so that way you can listen to music while you're in the shower so that's our decision and that's what we're gonna go with so I'm gonna get up in the attic move some insulation and we'll run some wire and we'll talk about hooking up uh, three speakers in this one zone Sending up the speaker wire right now um, for the um, master bedroom. And so um, we are going to go cut the hole next and then hopefully get the speaker wire um, set and then get the speakers in. Hopefully soon we will be done. Got a hole. So for this one, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this one up, I'm gonna put that one up, and those both have two runs going uh, from this closet here. But for this bathroom speaker, I'm going to get me a piece of cable that I take up in the attic with me, and I'm going to Make sure that I leave some slack for this one in case I ever needed to pull it down. But I'm going to uh, basically tap into this speaker. So this speaker and that speaker in the bathroom will be in parallel. Um, and so that amplifier will see a four ohm load. And so I will connect um, from the attic this speaker to that speaker. So we just placed um, the hanger for our next speaker. So Caden's going to go up back up in the attic and um, move the insulation, make sure it's all good and there's no studs or anything. And so I'm just chilling out with our Piper girl. Turn it. Got it. Get her fit. <laughs> Got it. Go. She was tight. Talk. If it fits tight like this, don't even worry about screwing it. It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> and if it fits tight like this, don't even worry about screwing it. It'll be fine. Is that a tip? <laughs> Cut your holes perfectly to where they barely fit, and then you don't even have to screw. Save in some time. All right, up here in the attic, just for a frame of reference. That over there is the closet where we've been running wires, uh, you know, for this whole series. You can see right there's the first speaker for the uh, master bedroom. And then right over there, right where I'm pointing, that's the second speaker. So what we want to do is uh, we want one in this bathroom. So I poke my wire up. My wire is right here. So we want to run uh, this speaker in parallel with this speaker. So we're going to, I have my cable right up here. We're going to just run a wire from here. Um, I think just to make it nice, I'm going to go along that wall and then down this channel where I've been kind of running all my cables. But I just wanted to show you this. This is a little interesting, a little weird. And uh, it may make sense with 
the fact that I th I kind of thought that that bathroom down there may have been added on later on at some point uh, because what's weird is that there's two layers here it's like we've got sheetrock right here and then we've got like more sheetrock here and then it what looks like maybe what used to be like a a top plate at some point um so i'm thinking maybe they added this later on down the road this bathroom or remodel i don't know but um it's gonna be a little thick i just was kind of looking around i think we're gonna be all right um no studs that i can see so i think i'm just gonna try and power through that area with my handsaw and just uh, try to get through it um the speaker should be fine the speaker should uh that, that shouldn't be too thick is what i'm trying to say so we should be good so let's get this wire ran first then we'll go down and we'll cut this hole okay so i've connected it from the top here you can see i've uh, twisted them together and put them in the terminals it was a little tight fit, but I got them in there good enough that it'll be alright. So, just gonna cover it up, make it look like there's no speaker here, put the insulation over it, and this one is done. Now we just gotta go downstairs, cut the hole. That'll do it for tonight. I am very, very happy with how this is looking. Got that one kind of over the shower, get the bathroom. We've got the bedroom ones. So I've got one kind of with on along this walkway. Got one there, there. So this 1980s house is finally starting to shape up and come up to modern times and starting to look really, really good. What do you think? Looks great. Job, All right, now you're gonna clean up my mess, right? Oh yeah. Oh, you got a, lot, got a lot more to do up there. You got a dust up there. <laughs> All right, uh, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe. Let's get, uh, we work late in the evening because we have two kids. If you wanna buy us a coffee, buy us a coffee. We really appreciate it. But uh, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks guys.